Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris or Zelda, whichever you prefer. And I make content about English teaching in Japan, living here, and all the amazing experiences that come with it. Today, we're diving into a super important topic that many of you have been asking about. How to save money as an English teacher in Japan. Whether you're an Eikaiwa teacher, an ALT, or just planning to move here soon, please stick around and I have some great tips for you. Living in Japan can be expensive, but with a few smart strategies, you can make your salary go a lot further. From housing hacks to savvy shopping, I'll cover it all. And hey, if you find these tips useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. Let's get started. Let's talk about housing. Rent can be one of the biggest expenses, but there are definitely ways on how you can cut down on costs. Tip 1 is live in a share house. Consider living in a share house with roommates. This can significantly lower your rent and utility bills. Plus, it's a great way to make friends. The second tip is to live outside the city center. Living a bit further from the city center can save you a lot on rent. Look for places near train lines or bus stops for easy commuting. And the third hack is company housing. Some teaching positions offer subsidized housing. Check with your employer to see if this is an option for you. Let's talk about shopping. Groceries and daily necessities can definitely add up, but there are some ways on how you can save. Number one is shop at discount stores. Stores like Gyomu Supermarket and 100 yen shops are great for getting essentials at a lower price. The second one is buy in bulk. Wholesale stores like Costco, if you have membership, can be great for buying non-perishable and household items in bulk. The third tip is seasonal sales. Take advantage of seasonal sales and clearance events to stock up on items when they're cheaper. The fourth tip is to take advantage of time sales. Visit the supermarket an hour or two before it closes to get good deals. Prices go as low as 50% off most of the time. But be prepared to fight your way through the sea of people wanting discounts as well. Third is food and dining. Japan can be pricey, but there are plenty of ways to enjoy delicious food without breaking the bank. Number one is cook at home. Cooking at home is almost always cheaper than eating out. Learn to make some basic Japanese dishes and you'll save a lot. I recommend stocking up on basic Japanese condiments like soy sauce, mirin, cooking sake, consume to cook hundreds of different dishes. Another tip is dining deals. Look for all you can eat or tabehodai deals and lunchtime specials at restaurants. This can offer great value for money. Transportation is another area where you can save a lot. Number one is to use a bicycle. If your workplace is close enough, consider getting a bicycle. It's a one-time investment that can save you a lot on train and bus fares. You can also get a second-hand bicycle from second-hand stores or from Facebook Marketplace. Another tip is commuter pass. If you commute by train, get a commuter pass or takey, and it can save you money if you travel the same route regularly. Enjoying your time in Japan doesn't have to be expensive. You can enjoy some entertainment and activities following these tips. First is free events. Many cities offer free events, festivals, and cultural activities. Keep an eye out for these opportunities. I recommend joining local Facebook groups and constantly checking your city's websites to know about local events. You can also go to public parks. Japan has beautiful parks that are free to enter. They're perfect for a relaxing day out. And of course, last but not the least is library and community centers. Check out your local library or community centers for free and low-cost classes and activities. And there you have it! Some practical ways and tips on how you can save money while living and working in Japan. I hope you found these suggestions helpful. Remember, living on a budget doesn't mean that you cannot enjoy all the great things that Japan has to offer. If you have other money-saving tips, please share them in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Matane!